I, I'm, I'm going to say a few words first, okay. if, I, if I can. Um, obviously, uh, this has been an emotional day for everyone connected with the football club, and I have now the impossible job of trying to express the feelings of those of us who love this club and who love football. Uh, typically, Arsene is not here today because his focus is on the game uh, on Sunday. I left him at the fields of the training ground in Colney this morning. That's who he is. Uh, people today are talking a lot and, and wonderfully about what Arsenal has done for Arsenal Football Club and what he's done for the wider world of football. I will leave it to others to talk about the facts and figures of his 22-year tenure. His achievements are extraordinary and many of them will not be repeated. But there is something more coming out today. There's an affection. Uh, widespread affection from Arsenal fans, but also from people right across the sphere of football. And I've had the pleasure of working closely alongside Arsene over the last 10 years. And so what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about Arsene as a football man, but also as a person. Arsene changed the game. He set a totally new standard, a new ambition. An ambition not just to win, but to win while achieving perfection, to make art out of football. And he was always brave enough to be true to that extraordinary ambition. And incredibly, he achieved it with Arsenal's invincible season. People these days use the words football philosophy lightly, but Arsenal truly has a football philosophy and he's been brave enough to live by it. And in doing that, he's reinvented the game and played some of the best football we've ever seen. He's transformed the beautiful game and he's made Arsenal famous throughout the world for the style of football we play. Arsenal fans take enormous pride in that. And for that, we say thank you, Arsene. Beyond football, he has inspired the people around him. He does this through his human qualities, his understanding and his empathy for people. He's able to make people believe that they can achieve great things on and beyond the football pitch. He inspired George Weah to believe not only that he could become the world's greatest footballer, but to have the conviction that he could become the president of a country. And he's done all of this while remaining true to his values and the values of this great football club. He's taken every challenge he's faced with humor, grace, and class. I take enormous pride in that. And for that also, on behalf of all Arsenal fans, I say thank you, Arsene. Arsene often said his aim was to leave the club in a better position than when he found it. Well, we are in a better place today than we could ever have imagined 22 years ago. The foundations of this club have never been stronger, and this gives me great confidence as we begin to chart the, head, the, chart the path ahead. I spent an hour with Arsene uh, this morning in the quiet after the announcement. No words can describe this man. He loves the game and he loves this club. I'm not here today to talk about any private discussions. Today is about paying tribute to a great manager and a great man and for me to discuss our priorities now as a club as we look forward. Our first priority is to come together as a club. And we're seeing that today. Look at the outpouring of affection from the Arsenal family and from the football family. Our players, staff and fans are behind this great man and we will give him the send off he deserves. And then we have to start on the challenge of building on the platform we have created. I don't underestimate that challenge. I've often said it's the biggest challenge we will have to face. 
but I'm confident in the people we have in place to take forward Arsene's legacy and build on it, and I'm excited for the future. In the coming weeks and months, the world will see the unity and power of this great football club and the people within it. I have the greatest respect for Arsene, and I value his incredible contribution to this club. It's my ambition, my goal, to ensure that we honor and build on that contribution as we take our club forward. Now it's for the club. Now it's for Arsene. Now it's for Arsenal. Thank you. I don't want to get into the private conversations. Uh, I don't think today is the day for that. Um, uh, I want to respect the privacy of the conversations that were had around the decision. Um, Arsene will you know, speak uh, on Sunday. Um, but from my part today, it's really about paying tribute to a great man and talking about the club as we look forward. We're not, gonna, we're not going to find a replacement for Arsene Wenger. I think uh, for a variety of reasons. Arsene is an extraordinary uh, manager, an extraordinary person. Uh, he came into the game 22 years ago when the game was very, very different. It's evolved in so many ways and Arsene has evolved with it. Um, but when we look forward, um, the football club now is in a very, very different place than it was 22 years ago. And it's it's unthinkable to me that we are going to have another manager in the Premier League, let alone at Arsenal, who will be 20 year, 22 years in tenure and have the kind of run of consistent success that Arsene had over those years. Is it going to be a clean break, or is he going to have a role in the club going forward? I think Arsene will always have a place at the club. Um, today it's too early to talk about what that might look like down the road. Um, I think for today we're dealing with uh, the announcement that was made this morning and the immediate reaction to that. And finally, will he have a say in choosing his successor? Will you be asking him his opinion? We're going to have a process around that. The process uh, begins um, to today, today. Um, but I want to keep that process um, in-house. I don't want to be making public comments about it. Uh, we, we'll go through a, a respectful process. We, we, in, in accordance with Arsenal values and our respect for this man, we haven't had any discussions to date um, regarding that. So that process begins today. And I've said I uh, don't underestimate the challenge of that. You know, this club uh, has to rise to the challenge. I'm confident we can do it. But uh, as, we, as you started by saying, um, and as I started by saying, you don't find a replacement for Arsene Wenger. You find a new path forward. Do you think he'll carry on as a manager, or has he told you that He's a, he is a somebody who's in great shape. Um, he has a, a competitive edge uh, in the same way as he always has. Um, but that's really a question for him now. Ivan, Hello, David. can you explain to us why this is happening now? Well, we wanted uh, all of us to have the opportunity that uh, I, I would say two things. One, that the, the Arsenal family could come together and express our affection and our gratitude to this man. And so that meant um, providing an opportunity for that to happen. And I think you're going to see some fantastic atmospheres and uh, of coming together of the Arsenal family in the, in the three home games that we have remaining this season. Um, secondly, um, Arsene and the club need time to prepare. It, it's going to be a condensed summer with a World Cup right in the middle of it, a shortened transfer window. So I think for, for, for all of us, having the clarity sooner um, is better. And I think from the reaction at the training ground today, what I've felt is an incredible amount of passion, uh, um, a coming together, an urgency, a, a desire to give Arsene the send-off that he deserves. And I'm convinced that our players and our fans will come behind that very, very strongly for the remainder of the season. 
uh, with the goals that we have left. It's also come as a great shock to players, staff, fans, public. Um, you've spoken glowingly of us and there. Do you feel convinced that this is the right decision? Well, you know, the decision uh, had to happen at some point. Um, I think what I could say to that, David, is I don't think the club has ever been better prepared for that decision. Um, and now it's time for us to look forward. And as I say, I think we can do it with confidence. Just finally, Arsene obviously was in charge before you arrived here, and you and the newer staff fitted into the system that was already established. Now you have created the system around yourselves. So how confident are you that the club can return to previous levels of success and perhaps excel? And will it be you who the focus of attention is on now in that sense, or will the new manager have similar levels of power and influence as Arsene? I don't think, you know, Arsene earned his position at this club over 22 years. Um, I don't think uh, there will be other managers, if you look forward, that have that kind of um, uh, authority uh, at the top of the game, at the biggest clubs. But uh, obviously it's the most important appointment that any club makes and it's still the most important, employ important employee that any club has. So I, I don't diminish uh, the role, I just think it, it would be unrealistic to think that anybody comes in with the breadth um, and scope that Arsene has had at Arsenal Football Club. Um, I don't think it's true to say that the structure was created around Arsene uh, to, um, to give us robustness looking forward. It's, it's really something that Arsene played um, a full part in, uh, making sure that the club was prepared and ready for the future. And it comes back to what he said, which is he wants to, when the day comes to leave the club, leave it in a stronger position than he found it. And I think he leaves us in a very strong position to look forward. And sorry, just one other quick thing. The decision a year ago was taken between Arsene, the owner Stan Kroenke, uh, the collective, to continue. Was the decision now taken between them as a mutual decision? And what has changed between this time a year ago and now for this decision to have been made? Again, I don't, I don't want to go into the details of private conversations around the decision. Today's not for that. We're paying tribute to a great man and we're looking forward for the, for the football club with confidence. Ivan, in terms of standout memories for you of working with Arthur, hmm. what springs to mind immediately when you think of him as a manager? Um, you know, um, for, there, there are great moments, um, the, the, you know, the trophies, uh, the FA Cups, uh, the, 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 um, the uh, victory against Barcelona. These are great moments that everybody's familiar with. But the, the types of memories that I have about Arsene are um, speaking to him in quiet moments and the type of person he is. Uh, you know, he's an extraordinarily um, self-critical, um, thoughtful, intelligent person who always gives others the benefit of the doubt. That's how he is. And um, when you've seen that behind the scenes, you, you're not going to find it. I mean, there is a reason why there is so much affection from so many players and people that have worked with Arsene and seen how he is uh, in and around the football club. There's a reason for that. It's because he's a special person. I think, I think Arsene has um, taken everything that's been thrown at him with real humour and grace. Um, and I think as he now makes the, the step to the next phase of his life, I think everybody is a little bit more reflective. And I think it's at a moment like this that you can really better appreciate what an extraordinary person uh, that Arsenal Football Club um, is, is losing, um, and also the breadth of his contribution. And I, I think in all of that affection comes through, especially, I would say, above, above the football part, um, is the, um, the inspirational figure that he is for so many people who have interaction with him, how he's developed them as people off the field, how uh, you know, he speaks to them about wider issues than just football. Um, so, you know, for, it's all of, all of those things.
Did you have an inkling before today of the decision from Arsenal, and did you try and talk him out of it? Again, I, I go back to, I, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm very um, sensitive about um, disclosing publicly what really should remain private conversations. I think, you know, Arsim can talk on Sunday about the decision. Um, from, from my perspective, um, now it's a time to honour him and to look forward. For 22 years, this club has been stable. It's always, it's always hanging out on the fact hmm. that Arsene Wenger will be the manager. Other clubs, managers come and go. Does today signal the beginning of Arsenal being a bit unstable? And also, how as a board are you going to handle getting a new manager? Because you've never had to do that before. Well, um, it's, I certainly don't believe it heralds a new era of instability at the club. I mean, one of our challenges and one of the things that will inform us as we move forward are the values of the club and the values that Arsene has instilled in the club. And, you know, this the relationship with Arsene was not a one-way relationship of loyalty. It was a mutual relationship of loyalty. And so Arsene's value play, play a part, part in that, but so do the club's values play a part in that. And we need to take those values forward, both in the appointment, but also the, in the environment um, that we create. And I'm sorry, the second part? Second part is, I mean, obviously, oh, we're in experience. Well, actually, you know, we have a tremendous amount of experience uh, in the football club. Um, we have uh, on the football side, I mean, I've been involved in professional football for 25 years and overseeing the football side in Major League Soccer, multiple coaching changes there, obviously. Um, Raul Sanlehi has been through, I don't know, five or six uh, different Barcelona coaching changes and presidential changes. Sven Mislintat has been through a number at Borussia Dortmund. Uh, and then on the board, we have board members who have, are old enough and experienced enough to have been through even Arsenal changes. Uh, and then, of course, Stan Kroenke and Josh Kroenke themselves have been through many, many different coaching changes in different sports. All of that experience exists. I doubt there is a more experienced group in handling uh, changes of coaches. Having said all of that, this is a very unique situation and none of us have been through uh, a coaching change, uh, a managerial change that will be like this one. So, you know, I recognize the size of the challenge, but I think we do have the resources and the people and the experience and the know-how to be able to make a good choice for the future of this football club. Ivan, we're obviously talking about a, a legend of the game, Ronnie Mangiura of Grace. How difficult will it be, how difficult a decision ultimately was it? Was it the toughest, one of the toughest decisions of your career? And also, how difficult will it be to replace him? Is there a profile of manager now that, 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 that you have to look to replace him? Do you have to look for someone dramatically younger to, to be an opposite almost to bring in something new. I think, John, you know, that process starts today. So um, I, what I will say is uh, it's important to me that we continue the football values that Arsene has instilled in the club. So I want to see somebody who can continue that for our fans, and our fans want to see that. Somebody who will continue to play progressive, exciting football uh, that gets people um, uh, interested and excited in the games that we play. Um, but I also think there is a, a significant piece with Arsenal Football Club of how the candidate represents the club. That's also important to me and I think it's important to Arsenal fans. So those qualities, um, you mentioned again, replace Arsene, that's not going to happen. Um, but what we have to do is make sure that we don't lose his qualities and his values within the club and that we take them forward. I'm absolutely committed to doing that. Well, I mean, just, just on that, was it a very, very emotional conversation? With him? It must be so tough. I know you don't want to go into detail, but it must have been such a, one of the toughest decisions all around collectively. That you, uh, I, I, don't think, I don't think Arsene could leave a club after 22 years without there being a lot of emotion involved. And I, you know, right across the club, for myself personally, you know, it's 10 years, it's not just a working relationship that I have with us, and it's a personal relationship. And we've been through a lot together. So for me personally, a, a highly emotional day today. But it's interesting speaking with members of staff um, at London Colney and here at Highbury House, just how uh, impactful today is. It feels uh, very, very big. And um, at the moment, we are still assimilating that. But tomorrow we have to start thinking about how we move forward. And as I've said, 
Arsene is going to feel the full force of this club behind him over the next couple of weeks. Um, and beyond that, we are going to take what Arsene has given us and we're going to take that forward and I will make sure that we do that. Hi, ben, hi. You just mentioned that uh, the three criteria for a new manager, you said progressive and exciting football and also someone who, who adheres to the values of the club. I mean, that's probably not a, a, a great number of people out there who fit that. Bit. I mean, how... Do you see that as a, a young man or an old man? Or how do you I, I, I think, I, I, you know, we have, to, we have to go through that process. Um, you know, there is another value which I didn't talk about, which is young players. Our, our academy teams are doing extremely well. And under the radar, we've got a lot of players coming through into our first team, not just ones that you already know about, but the next generation as well. So that value of youth, giving youth a chance, is also very important to the football club. I think we've got to be uh, open-minded and also brave in the decision. You know, when Arsene was appointed, um, I don't think he was on many people's radar screens. Um, now, that doesn't mean we have to make another appointment that not everybody is thinking about and talking about, but it does mean we need to be bold in the appointment and get the person we believe is the right person. We've only got time for a couple more guys, so Rob. I mean, you paid a lot of tributes to Arsenal today. Did you personally want him to stay for another season? I, again, I, I don't want to get into all the discussions that went on. You know, the decision is made. I think, um, uh, I think now it's time for us to honour him today. And I see that and I'm really heartened by what's happening. Um, I think for us now, you, you will all see the power and unity of the club. Uh, and now, for me as chief executive and for the team of people that we have looking forward, we have to embark on a process which we have not done. I mean, whatever, whatever is being said, we have not done that because we would never do that. Um, I don't think it's in Arsenal's values to do that behind the back of a great man like, like Arsene. Uh, other clubs, you know, go out and, and conduct their managerial search um, for understandable reasons in that way. Uh, for us, we had, a, as Arsene said, there were, there's been a conversation. Um, Arsene has uh, made his decision, um, and now that process begins. Okay, Dave, that that like last one from Dave, please. How's it, were you there when the players were informed by Arsene? I've, I've spoken with uh, Per Mertesacker today um, after the meeting. I, I wanted Arsene to have that space to speak to the players himself. Uh, it's very, very clear um, that our players are going to fight for this man and make sure that they send him off in the right way. Now, I don't know what that means uh, for results, um, but I can tell you that the commitment of these players to finish the season strongly is absolutely unquestioned. I, 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 I mean, how, how important is it to make quick appointments in the interest of clarity? The most important thing is to make the right appointment, not to make a quick appointment. And Ivan, when you do actually find a successor, do you think it's important to announce it quickly, or do you think it could be slightly disrespectful while Arsene Wenger is still managing for the rest of the season? Again, really, you know, today, today we're assimilating a lot. Um, a lot has happened. Um, that process starts, uh, you know, this evening. We're, we're working on plans, and I, I, think, um, I think it's going to be, I think West Ham on Sunday will be a great atmosphere. I think Thursday will be electric, and then I think the Burnley game on May the 6th will be a send-off um, that the world will take notice of. Thank you very much, everybody. All right. I'm sorry we've got to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.